we're going to spend now a little bit of time talking. This was the thing that we landed on, and it's, it follows directly from the stuff that Seppi was uh, alluding to before. But this is, I mean, Haley on, on uh, the Phosphor team pulled this out, slightly obfuscated its client status, uh, data. This is a real person. This is really how they interacted on their path to conversion. Um, I mean, there's like 15 different direct visits four independent affiliate touch points, you know, multiple social interactions. They were followed up with by display campaigns um, and then at some point bought a pair of socks. Um, so, so how do we attribute the credit for that pair of socks back across this touch point and, and enable a marketer to go and do something different with that information? Um, particularly when most of them see customer journey like this, this sort of huge scatter of independent silos, those 7,000 marketing technology solutions that we talked about all contributing to the problem. Every time a, mar uh, a marketer goes to a technology fair, they come back with a new bit of kit that just creates another one of these lumps over here. Um, and, and, and the teams are siloed, you know, whether it's cause or effect, that what we've observed is you know, that, that these organizational silos where you have, you know, you'll have an affiliates team, a digital marketing team, if you're a larger organization, you'll have a separate brand team kind of working across them. But all of them are basically communicating with the customer from all sides in a very non-connected way because of the state of silo challenge. And then the real final one and the kind of the real sucker punch is everybody claiming credit for the same stuff. So they're all pushing from all sides. We, we work with businesses who say that they regularly report um, something like 200% of conversions to their CEO every week. So every week they'll say, we made 200% of what you think you're looking at, um, all by all independently claiming credit for the same stuff. So it's quite clear there's like a significant challenge that comes from this data silo issue and, and one where we can think we can help them get better. And this is where, before I, before I hand over to Seppi, I'm going to basically sabotage the rest of this presentation. I had a session with Dan, who's uh, on our board at the back and a partner of Bonham Chalcott, who has an amazing a marketer's brain of making things sound incredibly simple. So much that it made me question whether we were actually doing anything that smart at all. Um, but um, all you really need to do is collect all that data, you need to analyze it to understand what's working, and then you just need to find very simple ways of telling marketers what's to do differently.